Hello everybody, it is Robbie from Southern California. And so many, I can't believe how many emails I got. I shouldn't say emails, but I should say messages on how I water my garden. But you know what? This is how I water my garden. I come out with a hose. In the summer, I do it once a day. And generally, I do it in the evening before the sun goes down. I'll be honest, uh, usually it's better if you're doing zucchini or squash to do it in the morning because if the leaves get wet too much and you have high humidity, then you end up with powdery mildew. And I do, but you know, for me, for my schedule, it's just easier for me personally to water my garden in the evening. So that's the way I do it. In the winter, I mean, if it's raining, of course, I don't need to water anything unless I have to go check something that's under the eaves of the house just to make sure they still, you know, are damp. And that would be it. So in the winter, I, I only water a couple times a week. Even the containers, they don't dry out. This is a big container. It's got too many plants. If something's got more plants, then of course it needs more water because all the plants are sucking it up. If you've got a big container with one plant, then it's less water. But this is it. This is like going to be the most boring video. But watering my garden to me is very stress-free. It really relieves stress. And you know what? I have had, had so much stress this past week that I just love coming out and just being in my garden. So since you want to watch me water my garden, and it probably will only take me about 15-20 minutes, I'm going to vent about a phone company and I don't want to even give their name because I really, my motto is not to say anything bad about anybody. If I don't like them, just don't talk about it. Um, but if I like them, I absolutely endorse products if I use it because I want people to, you know, get the best out of what they can buy for their money. But I'm going to tell you that I have been with the big V phone company and I think you all know the big check, the big V. I have been with them for 23 years and I had no idea that it is next to impossible to get out of them. And mind you, I have not had a contract. So I've had a really tough week and they have taken, because of them, close to 17 hours out of my life almost daily on the phone. And I had all these videos and everything I was working on. And I ended up, there was a day I was three hours on the phone on hold. I literally was in tears. Every time I told the guy, I've got to go. I can't wait. I can't hold anymore. He would tell me, oh, but if you hang up, we have to start all over. And you're probably thinking, what the heck is she talking about? Well, let's start right from the beginning and make it as short as possible. I have a good friend that I met about 40 years ago at a convention and he's a sweetheart. He's like a brother to me. Uh, he doesn't know anything to do with electronics and he's very, in a lot of ways, simple. I'm going to use that term, simple. He reads a lot, he knows a lot, he loves plants, but he's simple. And I became very good friends with him and his friend in Seattle. I remember told me when I first met him and became friends with him, don't you ever take advantage of him, she told me. And I said, I don't do that to anybody and I never would. She says, okay, because a lot of people do, and, and they do. I don't even think he realized they do, but they do. And I guess I could say I almost took him under my wing, but we're friends. The lady that told me that passed away from cancer and she was very close to him. So 23 years ago, when we got this big V company, I insisted that he needs a cell phone. And he told me he didn't want a cell phone. He doesn't need a cell phone. He will never use a felt cell phone. He can't use electronics. I said, look, you can use a cell phone. I guarantee you, you will use a cell phone. I will get you a cell phone. So we got him a cell phone, Gary and I. And for 23 years, he's been on our account and he's had a cell phone. See, I'm just watering. It's very simple. I'm just adding to all my water fountains and everything. 
so his phone wasn't working and on July 30th he walked into a Verizon I wasn't I was in the garden I didn't even know he was gonna do this he walked into a Verizon and the young man whose name starts with an N at a certain store I don't even want to say his name right now started to help him and my friend said his phone isn't working good and I had told him I guess that he can get another phone check out a phone whatever and I guess he tried to call me I don't know but I was in the garden so the guy told him he has to get a new phone service why he would be told to get his own phone service to this minute I don't know but he told him not to worry because if something was wrong with this and it didn't work out and this isn't what he was supposed to do they would give him back all his money and of course he believed him so he went home with a phone that they charged him a hundred dollars for it they charged him a hundred dollars that same phone sells at Target Walmart and Best Buy for $29 they're about when he called me and told me what happened I saw I got a message from him I said you don't need a phone he said well they told me I need a new phone I said but you don't have the phone number you've had for 23 years for your family and friends and he said well they said this was better so he decided to go back after we talked about it and return the phone see how simple it's just it's that quick it doesn't need to be flooded because a lot of the the pots underneath are still damp even if it's been hot they're still damp and again I fell my fountains so he went back to return the phone and it had only been at that point about uh, seven days because he, he does work so until he could get back there he walked back he walked probably eight miles or something he gets there and they conveniently tell him their system to retake any type of return doesn't work and he would have to leave and come back or they will call him after the 12th and they can't do anything for him on that until then after the 12th which puts him past the 14 days to return anything I went down there Gary and I both went down there demanding why they did this and I have to make this short because it was very long like I said and the guy that works so the manager said to me I said you know he's basically has he has a disability and he opened up a mouth to me and said we all have disabilities I have a disability if I can stick his exact words were to me if I can stick a pen in somebody's hand and have them scribble a signature they will get a phone from me I said so you knowingly sold him a phone that he did not need he said he could hold a pen and he was not going to give him back the money they ended up giving him back part of his money and they kept 80 because there's no way to give back the rest of the money which makes no sense to me for me being 17 hours on the phone I called them and told them I needed to cancel his number and they told me not to cancel it because I was entitled to an iPhone 7 for $5 a month and they said in fact you have two of them because Gary still has an old flip and they said you get the iPhone 7 for five dollars and then you can put it on any phone you want later to find out that was a lie it was untrue so I said no I wasn't interested in an iPhone 7 I have an iPhone 6 I'm perfectly happy with it they said no a 7's better I said no I'm leaving so then she says you know what we'll give you two iPhone 8's for five dollars two iPhone 8's so I said I need to talk to my husband she said okay it's all in there it's all in the system and Gary and I thought well maybe I called back to find out about it and now they couldn't conveniently find it but they could do two eights long story short I agreed on two eights that was going to cost me ten dollars a month and at each phone and they would ship it out to me I don't know why I said okay but I said okay I said but it's two or nothing and that was my exact words 
And they said, yes. I said, this way we both have the same phone. And they did say I can transfer the phones. Like I said, I found out that wasn't even true. So they shipped me out one phone on Monday. One phone, one tiny little box. I called them up Monday and said, the UPS guy just left. I asked him if he has another box. He said, no, that's all he had. And like I said, I'm really shortening this. And you only shipped me one. So he looks it up and he goes, nope, there were two in the box. I said, they couldn't even fit two in this box. Yep, order says two in the box. He said, you've got it. We can't, we can't do anything. I said, look, there's one phone. I want my money back. I said, there's only one phone in the box. Nope, we're not giving you back. At first they said no, because he basically called me a liar and said there were two phones in the one box. I said, they can't fit two phones in that tiny box anyways. Then there must be two boxes. Nope, it says one box was sent out and they're both in there. He kept me on the phone for two hours accusing me of lying. He put in a stolen report that the phone was stolen. I said, can you call the warehouse or first make a phone call and see where the other phone is? He told me no. Two hours on the phone. Now going into the third hour, after he puts in the report, he said, oh, he switched me over to somebody else. Now I'm talking to another guy. We actually found the phone. What? He said, the phone sold at the warehouse. It was a short ship. Where's the, can you send out another phone? No, we've already canceled the service and you can only have the one phone. I said, I don't want the one phone. I'm going to return it. You can't return it. You've got it. They fought me on the return. Three hours now on the phone. I literally was crying. I said, I need to hang up and do this another day. I have work. I've got to go to work. No, it's, if you hang up, we have to start over. Oh my gosh. I was thinking, start over. It's three hours. Gary came in and asked me what's going on. I told him, I said, I can't hang up. Or the guy said, it has to start over. See, I even water the traveling compost in place tubs inside a little bit. And it leaches in and gives them food. So I told them I'm going to return it. They said I couldn't. And then they got it, somebody else on the phone. They told me to go to the store. Their big V stores help better than on the phone. Like I said, I had a total every day talking to them came out to 17 hours because of them. Multiple things was going on during the week with them. They actually was holding me host hostage. So, like I said, I'm almost done. So anyways, I said, so you can't resend on a phone. They said, no, it can't just be a resend in your... And I basically lost the deal they were going to do, which really was no deal to start with. So I said to them, I'm returning the phone. They fought me. And then another, then I called the next day and I was on the phone the next day with a lady named Terry for two hours. I even told her I can't do this anymore. She said, I don't know what this deal is to keep putting you on hold and telling you they have to talk to supervisors. And she said, Ma'am, you can't swap the phone around. I said, wait a minute, I have to close a number up because they took it away from my friend. And she said, you can't. That phone is designated for that number. You cannot shut that number down. I said, I don't need four lines for two people. They said, no, you can't shut it down. I said, but I need, and I also need the money back for the phone that didn't come. Well, lo and behold, they messaged me. I actually have messages that they can't give me back money they cannot credit my credit card back for the taxes I paid. It was $114. They can't credit me back because I have nothing to return. I have now nothing to return, so they can't give me back the money. I said, how do I get my money back? We'll give you a gift card. We'll, we'll credit your account. I'm leaving, I told them. I'm about ready to leave. There will be no account to credit. You know what? Let me turn the camera around. I'm not even sure now that I've got everything together when I, where I left off. But I, he ended up, he told me to go to the store and take care of it. I went to the store and they told me they can't take the phone back. After an argument and being there for over an hour, they took the phone back and they gave me credit for that one. But they were still fighting me on the phone that never arrived, even though they know it was never shipped. They have no way of giving me back my money. I have to stay with them. I cannot leave them because that's the only way they can do it. I have never heard of anything like this. And I did, I will have to say that every person I talked to from the big V had a different story, had a different method, and I'm gonna flat out say this, had a different lie. 
and I don't, it really bothers me to even have to say that about anybody. So, long story short, since I'm almost done watering, the, my one phone has been returned to the store. I haven't seen the credit yet, but I'm assuming it's coming through. After a big argument, they figured out how to give me back my credit on that one. Not credit, my money that I actually paid on my credit card. I do have the bank does know about it. Somehow with this big deal with the big V company, I don't know why they did this. I don't know if they don't trust them or what it is. They locked my credit card. They shut it off. They don't want them to have the number. They shut the credit card off and they told me they had to send me a new credit card. So that caused a big problem because I had bills coming in on that one. So as we stand today, I'm trying to get back to doing my videos. I'm telling you this company sucked the life out of me. I've never had this before, but they sucked the life out of me. I'm almost done with the big V. I will never go back to them. I have since spoken to people who told me they, they managed to escape. That was their exact words to me. So that really tells me something and I did not know they were that bad. They have no um, complaint department, I found out. I actually found that out yesterday. My friend lost $80. We went down, we stood there. They will not give him back the money. They are gonna hold his money. And like I told you, the manager's exact words were, if I can get a pen in their hand to sign, I will sell them a phone. He doesn't care what kind of disability they have. And that's what he told me. He even said he has his own disability. Obviously he does. They called because I went out front and taped their store out front in the parking lot, in the parking lot, standing in the parking lot, not, not on their property. They called the security guard, I didn't know, on me. And when Gary and I left, the security guard came to the car. We were pulling out into the street and there was a red light because we had already left. And he flagged us down. He goes, I need to talk to you. Grab my window. And I said, um, okay. He said, he gave me a card. He said, you need to report them. And I said, why? He goes, I was called on you but I stood there and watched everything and you need to report them. I did report them to the big V yesterday. They said they put out a report, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm pretty sure they don't care. I have since managed, I think, to cancel the number they took away from my friend. He now has, he has nothing right now, but we set him up with a great new company and I hope it's gonna be great because we switched to Consumer Cellular. He doesn't text my friend at all. All he wants is a simple phone to call. And that is gonna cost him unlimited $20 a month. That's unreal. Total $20 a month. Gary and I have switched the other three phones. Yes, the other three phones now to them and everything seems to be working great. My bill went from $128 right now to 45 50 it's really cheap my friend i have hooked him up and got a deal on a grand pad and i i swear i think he can use that he's he's not sure but you know what it's made for 80 year old people that are 80 90 any age people with issues people that don't know anything about electronics. I looked at that and there is no way he cannot. Is this gonna open up a whole new world for him? He'll be able to watch YouTube. He'll be able to go on the internet. He'll be able to check Facebook that I run for him. He's gonna be able to do a lot. That's coming next week and I am gonna do an opening on that because I think that might be something that a lot of people don't know about because I didn't know about it. In fact, I talked to my brother who's got a phone company that he's gonna probably leave and he didn't know about it. I talked to other people that didn't know about it and apparently a lot of people don't know about consumer cellular. They are very big with ARP. And if you're in the United States, you know who ARP is. I will be taking out ARP. I haven't, but you can take ARP out at any age. I think up, I think at 50, you can take it out. I'm taking ARP out. And the reason I'm taking ARP out is it doesn't cost that much a year compared to the money they give you back if you belong to ARP. Calculated that out. 
So he's going to be set up. My deal is, and my daughter calls me today, it's not worth the stress. Give them the money. I said, give them $114 if I don't get it back. She said, give it to them. She said, that's what I do all the time with companies like that. See, that bothers me. And I think what really gets to me more is to take advantage of somebody that goes in, had a, a phone in his hand, told them that he's had the phone. They looked up the number for 23 years. And that person took advantage of somebody that didn't understand and sold him a phone he did not need or want. And this is what really gets to me is when I see somebody do that. And I haven't seen a company do that except for this big B company. And when they knew the problem and they knew what they had done to him, everybody who says they care doesn't do anything. Nobody do, did anything. And he lost $80 and he doesn't have any money. So $80 to him is like $1,000 to somebody else. So that's my vent while I water my yard and I'm done. And I would have been stress-free if I didn't talk about it. I probably was done already five minutes ago. This to me is relaxing. I happen to really enjoy working in my garden. But if somebody, if any of you are looking for a new phone company, I'll let you know how this works. Um, oh, and by, because I opened up an account for Gary and I, it turned out he got a $10 credit on his account which worked out so good and I got a $10 credit and they had a deal going on the grand pad. It's like an iPad, but, or like a tablet, I should say, but it's made for people that shake, which he does. It's made for people that have, that don't understand the internet. It's so simple to use anybody, anybody can use it. And most of the kids nowadays, like my granddaughter, who's what, six, it would be, it would be too simple for her. But a lot of people who can't or don't have the ability or older people that don't understand electronics, you cannot not understand. The buttons on that is like the size of a quarter. So, and it doesn't, you can put your hand on it and leave it on there. It's not gonna do anything. You can do all kinds of stuff. We'll see, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something on that because I think people should know about it when he gets it. It's coming in the mail, we ordered it. So that's it. So this is how I water my garden. Everything is watered. And technically, even though I watered it yesterday, a lot of it was still damp, so I didn't really need to water it. But that's how simple it is. I find it so relaxing to come out in the garden with a hose, actually I might lay it in here, and just walk through the garden and assess things. And I've been taking this out a little bit and see what needs to be done and look at things. And this is relaxing to me. It really is. And boy, have I needed it. Because every day staying on hold with them, I think the shortest phone call I had was that with them was an hour. They fought me on everything. And I will say one thing. There was a gentleman that worked in the store that came up to me and it was very nice. And he whispered to me, I'm going to let you know something. These people are trained. He had something big to do with the Big V company. They are trained not to ever let a customer close out any account. And this is why they've been putting you on hold. This is why they wouldn't let you leave. This is why they gave you trouble and they will even tell you they're going to give you a deal and not because when you go to set it up, like what happened, it, it can't go through, it doesn't work. So they're trained to do this and that is what I was told. How much of that is true? I'm gonna to have to believe it is because this should have been a straightforward, I'm canceling the phone and it was over and it just went completely out of control. And for my friend, he, they should have told him right away if they were an honest company, you've got a phone. If you want, if you want to put it on your own account, just get a hold of Robbie, you know, who's holding it and she can port it over one, two, three, give the okay. And you can have your phone on your own account or he could have waited and had his own phone through my account. That would have been the honest, simplest thing to do. But instead they lied to him they told him they'd give him back his money if this wasn't right, and they did not. They didn't even want to give him back a small amount. They ended up giving him back 50, I think like $53, and they wanted to give him a gift card to go buy something in their store. Are you kidding me? 
a gift card. So I told them, no, he's not taking a gift card. And with a major argument in the store, they ended up crediting back his credit card in which he paid the 50 something dollars, but told them that they keep the 80 for themselves. And that's what they did. I supposedly had notes on my account because I had called in the morning before we went down on what was going on. And they said that they are, there's a possibility that the lady told me they would waive the fee and take care of all this. But when I got there, they couldn't open my account because his account is, is a different type of account than my account. And when you're in a, one department, one department cannot open the other one's account. And so there was no way for them to look up the notes. I don't need a company like that. If it's that big and you can't return things, you can't, you can't complain, there's no complaint department, then I don't need a company like that. And I guess they're big because they're big and that's it. But like I said, I've been with them for 23 years and I am hopefully gone. They would not shut my phone off. I asked them to shut the phone off that my friend gave up and they can't they can't shut it off till the end of the month i don't understand the reason but that's their reasoning they have no ability to shut off the phone so hopefully it will all be taken care of and done by the end of the month and i'll keep you in tune on that and i will be doing more on the other one so with that just trying to wow this has gone on from a week ago thursday went into Friday. So it's been a week and one day dealing every single day with the big V on the phone because they tell me to call back and everything's gonna be handled. And when you call back, you have to start from scratch because they told me that notes get wiped off. I didn't know that, but Devin told me that the notes get wiped off. He works for some department. So I don't know how much of that is true. I don't know what's in the notes. I can only go by what I was told. But I was really impressed that the security guard told me to turn them in. It's not going to do anything. They're so big they don't care. But at least I know I've got somebody else that's going to get a go to another company. And we left. So they, they are almost gone with four phones. He left, he opened up a new account and they don't like losing an account, my friend. So he's now with Consumer Cellular and we're with Consumer Cellular. And I, I've talked to a lot of people that want to go now to Consumer Cellular. Jeez, you can get a phone unlimited one gig. Oh yeah, and, you, and the 128 or whatever I was paying the big V, I got nothing. I actually had to pay them to just say I belong to them. I didn't realize that $30 of my bill was just to say, hey, I'm a V customer. I only had one gigabyte, which we don't even use, but one gigabyte for four phones. That's a quarter of a gigabyte per phone. Now I have more and paying less. Our bill went from 128-ish, like I said, to about $45, $50. It's unreal. And I'm getting the same service and I have extra gigabytes. And if you do go over, there's no penalty. I got penalized uh, recently. They said I went over 0.1 and it was going to be like $30. Of course, I was angry and I was going to leave then and they, they waived most of that fee. And I said, I, I didn't go online. I didn't do anything, I told the big V. They said, well, people don't realize that when you send texts, some of the Texas has to go on as far as data, and so it gets, it gets ca um, counted as data. That was the first time I ever heard that, but that's what the guy said. If they send you anything, if they send you a picture, if, they, if it can't find the signal, then it goes as data. So it had run up to 1.1 somehow. Gary doesn't text. My friend doesn't text. I rarely text. I'm home most of the time. I, I don't know. Anyways, something had happened, but that was taken care of. Anyways, that's it. That's how I water my garden. The whole thing is done. To go out there takes less than five minutes. I just grab the hose and I go along the wall. To do the front yard it is, is a tenth of the time. There's only a few tubs. It's easy. You don't have to flood each one. And because I layer everything, there's always dampness underneath. I layer like this one is layered. Everything is layered, so there's always a little dampness. You know, so it's always got some sort of water in there. So with that, have a great day. Be stress-free. 
and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. What a week.